All right, guys, we just made it to Plaza Lagos. So this is where the other half lives in Ecuador. It's like a very rich, high-class neighborhood. And this area in particular has like a lot of shopping, uh, some good restaurants, and just like beautiful just architecture. Like it looks very different from other parts of Guayaquil that we've been to and where we've been staying. Um, it looks like it's com completely like night and day, very different. Check it out. beautiful palm tree is a Christmas tree in the back there and as we were driving here in the Uber um, from the city of the, the city center it's about a seven dollar Uber ride and we passed by like a lot of like you know high-end shopping malls and car um, car dealers like Audi things like that a lot of big homes too um, it's just really surprising. It kind of reminds us a little bit of like California and LA area or something like that. But yeah, it's very, very nice. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so here's like a restaurant here. I've seen like a few coffee shops. Very, very nice. See, Jen is up from his nap. Only had about 10 minutes sleep. We've been up all day, walking around, had lunch, and then we um, took a dip in the pool for a little bit. So now we just wanted to head out to Plaza Lagos. <clears throat> this is our last day in Guayaquil before we head to Salinas tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna head closer here to the, I guess kind of like a little bit of like a pond or something like that, or a little man-made lake. And right now it's about 6 p.m. So the sun is pretty much sad, it's very calm, not too hot like it was earlier today. statue of Dark Beta on a cell phone. iPhone actually. So it looks like we have a gelato shop here up on the left. Jewelry store. Maybe like a, a store for like uh, like kitchen remodeling or something like that as well. Yeah, it's a lot of high-end shopping here, guys. Looks very expensive. Very different from where we were the last couple of days. But I like the uh, Sun of Guayaquil. I like to be in the midst of everything. And uh, that's one of the reasons why like, we chose to stay in Guayaquil and certain other cities on our routes over the next uh, year because I want to be in the thick of it. I want to be around the people, be around the culture. I want to be in the atmosphere as I'm trying to expand on my journey of learning Spanish as well. It's kind of better to be in those local environments where people typically don't speak English 
and you're kind of really forced to speak the language. You know, my plan is that when I leave here 12 months from now from South America, that I'll be pretty much fluent, if not fluent. So this is all part of the journey. So I think that's it for this side. We have a bridge here, it's kind of blocked off. You can see like the gate here is closed. And then behind me, they have like some plants that's kind of blocking the walkway, but it's kind of able to squeeze through so I can get a couple shots for you guys. And it looks like from the other side here, they're trying to possibly maybe expand this place a little bit further. There's a lot of construction going on. But yeah, the view from here is amazing. And with the sunset, even better. So we stopped off and got a gelato and some sorbet. So I have maracuya, which is passion fruit. She has strawberry and pistachio. And it looks like Jen needs a little bit of a taste. Give him a little bit of the pistachio. Let's see if he likes it. And here's a picture of the tree up close. Doesn't have any lights on it, at least not yet, but still nice. This is kind of like the front entrance of the place. <clears throat> and then it's just a few shops around, around it here. Nothing special. pharmacy, a bank, maybe a restaurant or a coffee shop up here, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. So yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this place here. Um, it's not necessary to come here if, you, if, Guay, if, you know, if you're in Guayaquil. Maybe if you're here for a few days, you need some time to kill, then you can come check it out, maybe have dinner. But for us, it just kind of felt like a uh, place is just overpriced and the food probably is not that great. Just kind of judging off like the gelato that we had, it was like, I think one scoop was like $3. And it's kind of watered down. So yeah, I think we probably just go back, head back to the city center, grab some food from there and uh, call it a night.